mechanistic uh, how we come across this. We're, this is actually a museum, Neon Museum, and uh, we're starting on our LA Art Walk right now. And uh, we run across this thinking this was an art gallery, and it's actually a museum. It is art inside this place. And it's very interesting. They have a lot of stuff that focuses primarily just for Zodiac. And uh, they do charge a small fee here. Uh, my name is Rex Bruce. I'm the uh, director and owner of uh, LA Center for Digital Art, and I'm also the uh, principal curator here. I organize most of the exhibits here. Now, when you say digital art, is that this place or is this another place? Or school? Uh, no, it's this, this here. This, this is LA Center for Digital Art. And our, our focus is uh, art and technology. There's a lot of uh, like university majors say 15 years ago this is, didn't exist where you do new media studies as a fine art, you know, MFA uh -huh. program. New something. media meaning digital. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty broad spectrum of work that can fall into that and uh, I, I'm even more broad about it. It's very, very, uh, it's an identifiable thing like photography or painting uh, and new media or whatever. It has a number of different names. There's a, a large uh, area, a large vanguard in the art world that's developed uh, more recently. More Identi five, ten ident years. Identified. Well, yeah, in the last 15 or so, it's really turned into something that's identifiable. Let me ask uh, you, uh, so I'm that's, looking that's around, how, how does it, for those, I mean, let's just go for, and I don't know much about digital art either, for those of them who don't know much about it, like I'm looking around and seeing something else. What's the process? I mean, do you take a digital photo and then put color in? How does it work? How do you come up with this? Well, there's a really, really incredible variety of ways. Um, you're talking about an image that was created optically uh, okay. through a lens. Uh -huh. And they, of course, they can be manip manipulated in any number of ways uh, from, uh, uh, you know, people hold up scanners to things, you know, or they uh -huh. make their own custom cameras. Or they'll, they'll use a digital camera, and they, but they'll uh, use all the low resolution grunge. Uh, there's uh, are errors in the image, so it's called data mosh. Now you said, uh, well, what or, is that or term they'll mean? use the software like Photoshop to manipulate oh, okay. the image. Uh, in, in you know, there's, there's an infinite number of ways um, that you can colorize or uh, alter an, an image. What was that term you said? Something like useful or Photoshop was the term. Oh, data mosh. Data mosh? Yeah. Like a mosh that's a fairly new <laughs> word or whatever. And that's people who make art out of digital errors, out of the errors, uh, uh, mistakes. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Interesting. Yeah. a vacant parking lot where a bunch of vendors come together and sell their, their artwork. So this is what we're doing here. Have you have, have you artwork. been here before or is this your this first is time? This is my second time at the art park. Okay. So is this part of the art walk? This is part of the, okay. part of the art walk. Okay. 
And I see, what kind of artwork is this that you're doing? It's uh, interesting. These are prints on wood. Uh huh. So these are all like uh, hand drawn, and then I transfer them onto wood. Uh, so they're all screen printed. Very cool. Thanks. This is about recycling. Instead of consuming, buying new toys or throwing things away, getting in touch with your creativity and making art. And this could be a memento of your child uh, memories, like this one over here. Um, this one would be a better example. It's called Let's Let's Make Art Together, and it's just. Right. Taking a couple of things and having Very fun good. on the canvas, and the canvas is recycled. But yet, you still have a activist. You still have maybe a. No, I'm not an activist. Well, I'm not saying you're an I, I'm the, a the term activist. I'm a catalyst. Oh, catalyst. Okay. Yes, Thank that's you. the okay. word I choose to choose. Okay. And then this one, I'm, I mixed art books with my own etchings, but this is made of all my own black and white etchings. Black and black and white etchings, right? Yeah. And then what do you do? Paste. Um, I, I invented this formula of paint that's the texture, and I use it for fashion. Thrift stores, a dollar. Mm -hmm. Cut out a little clown's face and use my paint formula to attach it to clothes. So for a dollar, I have a right. great designer well, What do you call it? What's the name of it? Uh, let's just call my all my art cathartic art. It's cathartic my art. Yeah. yeah. How could someone get hold of you if they wanted to buy a few pieces from you? Do you have my a card or phone something? number. 818-616-6032. David, and this is your artwork? Yes, sir. I really like this uh, piece with Obama. What's the medium? Is it wood or canvas? or? It's acrylic and mixed media on wood. What makes your stand apart uh, to other places? Everything is done the way it was done 15 years ago. Oh, okay, okay. Such so. as slicing 100 pounds of meat the uh -huh. day before you come. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You go out there and you buy the meat already sliced. Okay, good. That's good.